All right, welcome to part eight of the maze game. This is going to be our final video. What we're going to be doing in our final video is getting it ready so that whoever's going to play it knows what the controls are, and we're going to add in some music to it. So the first thing we're going to be doing is adding in text. So go ahead and go to level one, select your camera, and I'm going to put, I'm going to do shift S and do the cursor to the selection which is our camera and I'm gonna go ahead and add text and I'm gonna move the text forward so it is gonna be in front of our camera and I'm gonna hit zero on the number pad so I can see the text and I'm gonna click on the little rotate manipulator and move it so that the text will be basically in front like this and then what I can do is go into edit mode and you'll see the little uh, link after the text or the little I-beam and you're gonna type in uh, basically you're gonna type in your controls so I'll start it by typing in maze controls and we can go into object mode and we can move it since it's getting cut off here there we go alright so I'll go back into edit mode I'll hit enter so we'll put up so the up is going to be equal to the up arrow in mine down is going to be equal to the down arrow and then so on we'll do the left and the reason why we're doing this is because some of y'all may have W A S and D there we go and we can always go back to object mode and move these up so we have our up down left and right arrows in there if you did any other kind like R to restart um, or you say you put a say you wanted your main object to go up like in the air and you had the space bar you could put that basically we want everyone to know what our controls are so we're gonna set that up and actually I'm gonna move that down again so that when we're in camera view we can see it Okay, and then what we're going to do is we can go into editing and you can change the size to make it fit. And you can also change like the width and you can change the color. So if we're on solid, we can see the color change there and you can extrude it make it thicker basically there's all different things you can do you can change the spacing the word spacing if you want it to be out more all these things right here will change it make sure that you are in um, camera mode and then what we can do is press alt C and that will convert our font to a mesh so you'll select mesh and now it's a mesh okay and we're gonna set up properties on it we're gonna add a sensor controller and actuator 
because we don't want this to show up when we start the game. So we're going to have a keyboard sensor and select all keys. And then for our actuator, we're going to go to edit object and we want it to end object. So what we're telling it to do is when we hit any key on the keyboard, it's going to make the um, the text go away. And you want to go before we do the sound, I just we're just going to save it. So go to file save. Okay. And then if you're in camera view, hit play. There we go. And then as soon as we start, as soon as I press the key, all that will go away. But whoever opens your game will know what your controls are. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is add in some music. So to go to music, we're going to select our empty. We're going to set it up on our empty. And if you can't find your empty, just go to animation. And it'll be there. There we go. So select the empty. You're going to left click that. And then if you hit period, it'll zoom in on your empty. All right. So we're going to set that up. We're going to add in an always sensor, add a controller, and add an actuator. And we're going to connect it up. So for our sensor, it's on always. Controller's on and and that's connected to the actuator which is going to be on sound and it's going to ask you to link up the files so what you're going to have to do is look for a file I think for this interruption uh, could Michael Leip please come by the attendance office Michael Leip come by the attendance office alright so you're going to click on the scene button and then you click right here and you do open new and I have this set up so if you go to the Y drive we have a folder called music and there's all these different files in there they have to be WAV files and right now a lot of them are mp3s so we have to convert them to waves so I'm going to show you how to do that okay so if you go to programs folder you're going to open up Audacity to convert it into an mp3 you go to file and open and say you wanted let's just say Bon Jovi we'll open that up you go to file export as a wave and then just save it in the music folder 506 music And that's it. You can close it out. Go ahead and open up your Blender file. And then you may have to cancel out of that and go back in. Open new. Okay. And I actually, there's actually a Pac Man one in here Pac Man Intro Wave. It doesn't matter what the song is, it just needs to be a wave file. And then you do select wave file. It's not saying it's a valid sample, so I'll try something else. I'm going to try Aerosmith. There we go. Let me do Aerosmith. Alright. And then we can go back into our game. I'm going to select the sphere. There we go. Alright, let's try it out. I got my number lock on here. Hold on. And now we have some music to go along with our game. So once you have that done, you are finished with the maze project. Congratulations. Now it's time to go play everyone's game. Thank you.